<laughs> hey everyone, and welcome to COP1511 in Term 3, your programming fundamentals course. And that's funny because I just got the name of it wrong three times. Um, today with me, the lovely Ben, one hello, of hello. your admins, and the lovely Tammy, the hello. other one of your lovely admins. So you will be having a lot of correspondence with us uh, and on the forums as we help you get through this course. But as I was saying before, not that we're going to cut that from the video, so <laughs> welcome to T3, which is the best term, I think, at uni because Christmas holidays are just around the corner. Um, but before that, you get the glorious gift of learning how to code, which is super duper fun. Isn't it fun? It is indeed. It's very, very good fun. fun. Very fun. <laughs> We've got a lot of varied experience here. Everyone loves coding. Sometimes, not all the time. You don't have to love coding all the time. All right, Ben, would you like to tell us a little bit more about yourself? Yes, hello. So uh, my name is Ben. I, in theory, just graduated from my computer science degree. Yay! Fingers crossed. Um, and I'm starting honours next term. So Yay! that's me. I've been tutoring 1511 for nearly three years now, I think. Um, and if things break, I'm probably the one who you should complain to, along with Tammy. So we'll be seeing a lot of each other throughout the term. Or could have also <laughs> been the person that broke them. Probably, yes. <laughs> and the lovely Tammy. Hi, everyone. I'm Tammy. Um, I'm the other course admin for 1511. And I am currently a PhD student doing AI ethics. Um, what else? Yeah, I'm really excited to be helping out with the cause and yes. hopefully getting to meet some of you sometime. I hope so. That's, yeah. yeah, let's do it. Okay, so what is this? We're here really to learn how to code and to learn the very beginning of how to get started in coding as well. So this course is using the language C, which is, in my humble opinion, the most glorious language that has ever existed. Um, so you might have heard some things. There are some rumors that C is the harder language to start with. Those rumors are perhaps correct, but perhaps not. But C gives you an amazing fundamental understanding of how computers work and how we can interact with computers. And this is really what it's all about, establishing that first foundation. Would you like to add anything to that? Um, yeah, so the <laughs> only on small the thing to add there is that uh, this course is absolutely designed for people with no prior experience. So if you're coming in and you've already done a little bit of programming, that's great. Uh, we we'll hope you'll learn a lot more during this course. But if you haven't programmed before, then this is you are who the course is designed for. So coming through, we take you from the very basics up to writing some more complex programs by the end of the course. Absolutely. Let us take you on this journey. You get to see how programming works. You really do. <laughs> you really do. Um, and also, sometimes, sometimes I'll go to some weird metaphors to help you understand programming. So just bear with me. Yeah. Get excited. Get excited. <laughs> Absolutely. Exactly. And Tammy, would you like to add anything? Um, get excited. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we really do. Look, one of our aims here really is, is that everyone has a really fun time in this course. We are here to help you. We love questions. We love your questions. Please ask us anything. We've got, uh, we're going to talk about all the different ways you can ask us questions. Um, we really love helping you learn. We really love watching you. Um, get better and <laughs> not, in, not in my pointers way, no. Uh, we really love watching you improve over the course of the term and you know get excited about all the wonderful new things that you're going to learn. Okay, so we'll just do a little bit of a run through of how the course is structured. So there's a couple of things uh, that will happen every week and Sasha will have a chat about the lectures for the yeah. course. So one of the components of the course, as in probably every other course you take at university, is the lectures get excited. <laughs> they are at a really normal time this term, which is super duper exciting. No Friday 3 to 5 lecture, which was just a terrible time. I swear people were playing drinking games anyway. Um, okay, so the lectures. There are two two-hour lectures and they are on a Monday 11 till 1 and Wednesday 10 till 12. Um, so perfect for lunch. And uh, yep, so lectures run for two hours each time. 
the lectures are going to be a bit of theory, but then also a lot of practice coding. We're going to go through a lot of examples and we're going to, you know, take questions from the audience view. And what we like to get is a lot of questions during those lectures in case you don't understand something. All of the live coding examples will be available to you so you can code along with us. The lectures are usually run on YouTube, um, streamed on YouTube, and you will be provided links to join us um, for those wonderful lectures. Another part of the course that we have every week is the Tutes and Labs, so they'll be marked as TLB on your timetable. Um, they're broken up into two sections, a one-hour tutorial class where we'll do some sort of uh, group work um, with a tutor leading that uh, to sort of help explore some of the content we're learning that week. Um, and then we'll move into a two-hour lab session where you'll work through the problem sets that you get every week. So, um, you know, just like other subjects, we have weekly exercises that you do uh, that will contribute to your mark at the end of the course. So after the tutor, we go over to a lab and actually work on those uh, problem sets with the help of a tutor uh, there. That's yeah, um, when you go to your tutor and labs, um, it's highly recommended that you wear a mask. Don't forget to sanitize your hands and socially distance from each other. Um, what else? What else is there? Mm. Uh, but also collaborate a little bit with each other. Make sure that you, you know, you can talk to each other about perhaps how you're going to solve something. So not giving each other direct code, but you can discuss how you're going to solve something. And that is one of the most wonderful things about coding is, is that kind of discussion that happens, um, you know, around a problem and how to approach solving a problem. Ooh, before you come to your first class, make sure you check where you have to go so you don't get super lost around camp. Yeah, absolutely. Now, what about some help sessions, Tammy? We do run some help sessions. They are amazing. There's usually quite the lineup for them because they're that good. <laughs> yeah, so we have some help sessions running throughout the term where you get to have one-on-one -on -one consultations with a tutor um, to help with go over any content um, throughout the course or to ask any of your assignment questions or any of your tutorials or lab questions and follow up on them. Um, so yeah, they're really helpful and more details about them will be given in around week two. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we'll have a good schedule going and you'll be able to, we'll provide more details about how to get help at those help sessions, I guess. That's really, yep. And what about some live streams, Ben? Yes, so uh, throughout the course we'll have sort of occasional um, optional live streams with extra content, so that might just be you know, some extra information at the end of the term, maybe a bonus lecture here and there. Um, but also we will try and have a live stream for each assignment to uh, sort of introduce you to them, get you the context and help you get started on them. And those will also be hosted on YouTube. Yep, absolutely. So actually this term, we've got two exciting bonus live stream lectures um, in week six, and they're not um, compulsory to attend, optional, but one's gonna be on security um, with C code, which is really, just a cool thing if you're interested in how, you know, perhaps those vulnerabilities can be exploited. But also to give you some background and, and perhaps, you know, catch your interest if you're interested in security. And the other lecture is going to be about ethics at the beginning of computing and stuff. So also some pretty exciting stuff, some good discussions happening around there. So in terms of the assessments that you have throughout this course, um, all of the details of this will be in the course outline, so check there if you want a sort of authoritative view on those. But as a sort of brief summary, what we'll have is we'll have those weekly problem sets that we'll give you. Uh, those will contribute 15% to your overall mark. Um, we've also got three assignments that you get throughout the term. So we've got an assignment zero, which, you know, as computer scientists, we always count from zero. Um, yeah. <laughs> so. Okay. <laughs> welcome, welcome to the, welcome already to the world of it's zero incredible. counting. Yeah? It's incredible. So no, we've got an assignment zero, which really is just meant to be a nice gentle introduction to writing some larger programs than what you'll see in your lab exercises. Uh, it's not intended to be difficult or, you know, particularly terrifying to start you off. Um, it'll come out quite early in the term and June yeah. Week it, three. Due in week three. End of week three. End of week three. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it'll come out early in the term and will be due roughly at the end of week three. Um, can also give you some feedback on how you're going. And then we've also got two larger assignments uh, on our two main topics, which are arrays and linked lists. Um, again, if you haven't heard those words before, don't stress. You'll learn all about them in the course. Um, and we'll talk a lot more about them as we get closer to them in the term. 
They're due in week seven and week ten. Week yeah. seven and week ten. Yeah, and then the assignments, are, well, I mean, again, a biased opinion, which I'm giving many of today, but l lots of fun. And some really fun context coming up for the assignments. We've been working very hard over the break um, to, to get you some really fun assignments. And maybe you won't think they're that fun, but they are super duper fun. <laughs> um, okay, and then uh, we also have, of course, we finish off with an exam. Um, and it's going to be an in-person exam this term. Um, so something a little bit different to the terms past. We are returning to the in-person exams. Uh, it's going to be a three-hour exam and you're going to have a few questions. We are going to cover um, a lot of exam information in detail in week 10 lecture and we're also going to have a lot of opportunities for revision and practice problems throughout the course so that you're able um, you know, to go confidently into the exam and do your best um, in there. Yeah. And what about where, oh, I should mention also that the exam does have some hurdles. Um, and so, and the hurdles are arrays and linked lists. Um, and again, I will talk more about it during the lectures, so don't worry about it. Um, and it, this is all in the course outline as well. So now, we've talked about help sessions, which is a place to get help. What about the forums, Ben? Yes, so uh, much like a lot of courses, we will have a course forum this term. It'll be running on EdSTEM, which you may have used before for other courses. Um, the course forum is just a great place for you if you're stuck uh, and, you know, it happens after your tutor lab or there's no help session running, chuck a question on the forum. We've got a couple of tutors watching that all through the week. Uh, and so, yeah, chuck a question on there, they'll be able to give you a hand. Um, the only major thing to mention with the forum is make sure you don't post any accessible code uh, directly on there because then, you know, if someone sees that and uses it, it gets all messy. So make sure you're only posting sort of general conceptual questions or trying to come up with a different example that shows the problem you're having. Yeah, and if you do have a problem with your code, we can actually see your code. So you just have to basically say to us, can you look at my code? Um, the other thing worth mentioning is please keep your posts respectful, all conversations throughout the whole course. So any lecture questions, comments, anything in the tute labs, um, anything on the forums, please uh, be respectful at all times to your tutors, to your lecturer, um, and to the other students around you. Um, so treat others with respect um, and, um, yeah, we believe in an inclusive environment. So let's please um, keep that up because that's really important to make everyone feel like they're a part of this glorious, glorious course. Thank you, Tammy. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Okay, that's fantastic. Oh, my goodness, we're, we're at the end almost, aren't we? Outstanding. Oh, well... Thank you so much for tuning in. This may have gone on for longer than what we envisioned it because we couldn't stop laughing. But good luck for Term 3. We look forward to meeting you and we hope that you have an absolute blast. See ya. See you.